I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Sunday morning, the 3rd of March, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We go straight to the Gospel of John, and that very, very famous scripture, chapter 3 and verse 7. Jesus says, you must be born again. A beautiful old book was sent to me by a farmer in England a few weeks back. A beautiful book. It was written in the 1950s. And in it was a beautiful illustration, which I want to read to you because it touched my heart very deeply. It goes like this. A father lay on his deathbed and was taking farewell of his family as they stood around him, affectionately greeting his wife, his daughter, and the sons. He used the same expression to each one of them. Good night, my dear. When we meet again in the morning, there'll be no night there. But then turning to the youngest boy, he put out his hand and said, Goodbye, John. The poor boy was hurt at this and asked, What do you mean, father? You said good night to mother and the others, but goodbye to me. Yes, my boy, your mother, your father, and your minister have prayed for you. The Spirit of God has been striving with you, but it has all been to no avail. This is goodbye for us. The wayward youth was so overcome that he dropped to his knees and he cried his way, sobbed his way to Calvary. Then with his last laboring breath, the father took his hand and said, Good night, John. When we meet again in the morning, there'll be no night there. Maybe I'm speaking to a, a wayward son, a wayward daughter. I would encourage you not to leave it too late before you are born again. Maybe you'd like to repent right now and pray this little prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I've heard this little story. It has cut me to the quick, and I know that I'm not in the right place with you. Please forgive me today before it's too late. I will serve you with all of my heart, and I repent of all of my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and goodbye.